Hey, I'm David Mizajewski with the National Wildlife Federation. Today I'm going to be talking about Wildlife Watch. Now, why should we watch wildlife? Well, it's no secret how busy we all are and how overscheduled we feel. Even kids today are spending 44 hours a week indoors being shuttled back and forth from school to after school activities and then home in front of the TV. Add to that that we're not even connected with the natural world anymore. Most of us can name more TV shows than we can local birds or local trees. So wildlife watching is a good excuse to get outside, get some fresh air, get some exercise, and to reconnect with the natural world around us. You might think you have to go off into the wilderness to watch wildlife, but that's not the case. Whether you live in the middle of a city, way out in the country, or anywhere in between, there's always something to see. Now you might think that I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but I'm actually just in a little suburban woodland that's completely surrounded by houses and roads. And there's all sorts of wildlife for me to watch. Just like it doesn't matter where you watch, when you watch doesn't really matter all that much either. You can watch early in the morning, late at night, even in the middle of the night, or in any season of the year. And you might see different things at different times, but I guarantee you're always gonna see something cool. So what kind of wildlife can you expect to see when you go on a wildlife watch? Well, that sort of depends on what part of the country you're in because we have some pretty diverse ecosystems and they all have different sets of animals. So if you live in the eastern woodlands, you can expect to see different things than somebody living in the desert southwest. So remember that. We also have a pretty broad definition of wildlife for this program, Wildlife Watch. So we're not talking just about animals, which include birds and mammals, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and even insects. But we're also talking about plants because plants are wild living things that are around us and they're doing some pretty cool things that you can observe as well. Animals also leave lots of signals and signs that they're around. So it's not always just about seeing the animal, but you can see their trails or their tracks or maybe a nest or a burrow or a spider web. Those are all signs that the wildlife is around us. Spotting wildlife can sometimes be hard. They're really good at hiding and they can usually hear us coming. But be patient, give yourself some time, and you will spot something. But wildlife watching is more than just about what you see. It's about experiencing nature with all of your senses. So take birders, they're a kind of wildlife watcher, and they usually keep a life list of all the species they've seen. But if you ask them, they've probably only seen a handful of those species. More likely they heard them and were able to identify them by their call. So you can use your eyes, you can use your ears, you can also use your sense of touch and your sense of smell. I mean, sometimes just touching a tree and feeling the bark can help you identify what species it is. Now, this plant here, if I just kind of gently rub the leaves and sniff, I can tell that this plant is in the mint family. So it can help you identify what wildlife is around you. Just be careful that you're not touching poison ivy or poison oak or something with bad thorns, and you never want to try to touch a wild animal. You really don't need to bring anything with you when you go wildlife watching, especially if you're just going out in your yard or in your neighborhood. But I wanted to show you some of the things that I like to bring when I go out for the day. Things like binoculars. These are a great way to get a really close up view of whatever it is that you're watching and you don't have to spend a lot of money. These are pretty cheap. I like to bring a camera too because not only is it great to sort of document the experience, get some good family photos, if I'm having trouble identifying something, I can bring the photo back home and use resources online or field guides or you can just bring the field guide with you. This is National Wildlife Federation's new bird field guide, and I use this a lot to help identify the birds that I'm seeing or hearing out in the wild. If you're gonna be gone all day, you wanna make sure you bring water so that you stay hydrated, and you wanna make sure that you pack for the weather. I usually bring an umbrella, but if it's cold out, I'll bring gloves and a hat and a scarf so that I don't get too cold. I actually like to bring like a notebook or something like that where I can take more detailed notes and sometimes even do some wildlife sketches. That can also help you identify things when you get back home. And if you're going to be going far away from home, you're going to be out all day, you do want to bring um, a first aid kit because if anything should go wrong, if you fall or get cut, you want to make sure that you're prepared. National Wildlife Federation has created a website to help you go wildlife watching. You can get our list of species that we pick for every state that we change seasonally. So you can read descriptions of the things that you can see when you go watching, and you can also print off a list to take with you. Now if you need a place to go wildlife watching, you can use our nature find feature. All you do is type in your zip code and you'll get a list of all the parks and the trails and nature centers near your neighborhood where you can go wildlife watching. Now once you've gone wildlife watching, we want you to join our community. You can upload your photos and share your stories and see the photos and the stories of others who have gone wildlife watching, and you can even pinpoint what you've seen, where you've seen it, right on our interactive map. 
So now you know everything you need to know about wildlife watching. It's free, it's fun, and it's a really great way to connect with nature. So we hope to see you out there.